Welcome back to VTA. Uh, today here we are we're out of the workshop and we're actually going to go down to the uh, Bore Bore Old Engine Club. We're having a bit of a, an open day or a picnic day or something. So if you bring something older than 25 years, we're going to get in for free apparently. So I'll uh, show you what we're getting loaded up. Here we are. We got the Massey 135 with the jib. We're just going to use that to load this uh, Fergie plow that we picked up on the back of my ute, the one tonner. So you can take the one tonner as well. It's an 81 model, so it fits into the 25 years. And then dad's gonna take the truck and the 744 is loaded up on the back of it. It's just been hiding in the shed overnight. So yeah, should be a good day. We'll get this loaded up and we'll get out of here. Here we go, got the plow mounted on the back of the tonner. So I had to put a little bit of air in it and there's air shocks in the back. So I added a little bit to uh, stop the tires hitting the tray. So yeah, should be good to go. And looks like the sun might be trying to come out. Hopefully it does. So should be a good show. Okay, here we are at the uh, Bore Bore Old Engine Club club grounds. That's their shed there. They've got a few old uh, bits of gear on display. We'll have a good look around. Good little light up of cars, a few trucks. Um, there's some more stuff and some engines over there. I'll put the uh, flyer up on the screen so you can see the details of today. But yeah, I'll just have a walk around and we'll look at some nice old cars. here now we've got a little Kubota tractor David Brown 30D and here's a pretty nicely restored looking uh, David Brown 885 looks like they must use this to do a bit of mowing around here really nice little tractor so here we are this is the uh, Ronson Tippett residual oil engine at the uh, Bore Bore old engine and auto clubs uh, site we've got Rob here he's going to tell us a little bit about it so what's the uh so it's Ronaldson and Tippett. How Ronaldson many horsepower is it? Yeah, it was sixty-eight horsepower, as yep. far as we're aware. Yep. Yep. And it's a um yeah, full compression diesel air start. Um built in nineteen twenty seven. Yep. And um it came from the um Ropeby pumping station on the Tarago River. Yep. Which is installed there new, original. Yep. And um and uh we've got that coupled up to the original uh, three throw um pump that was uh, part of the pumping station as well. Yeah, which is made by Kelly and Lewis, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And then I see we've also got an engine over there on the wall. I believe that's the engine you fire that up to build yep. the air up to fire. That's right, that's starters. a three, three horsepower Austral, yep. um, which was uh, connected up to a Ronaldson Tippett compressor. Um, and that's how they um, they fired up the um, the air for, uh, for the air start on the main engine. Awesome, very good. Uh, yep. Thank you for that, we'll have a bit of a look around it. No worries. Here it is, massive flywheel over there. It's permanently mounted here. And they got the belt drive set up, which goes through this gearbox. And then I believe originally the gearbox was mounted up high and it was a direct drive, but they've had to uh, chain drive it to get it to work in place. And there's your three piston pump. Then over here is the Austral engine we were just talking about, which runs a compressor to fill up the vessel and start the big engine. So really interesting. They have some really nice stuff here at Ball Ball. 
Um, as you can see behind the back there, they've also got a Fordson N model Malcolm Moore roller. I'm not exactly sure what that is over the back, but that's interesting as well. It's a boring rig, I'm getting told. So yeah, very interesting bit of gear. And yeah, a few other engines and stuff around. Very cool. If you have a look down the front here. I look where the exhaust pipe comes Yeah. If you look down in the front there, the depth of the block goes down where the Y, that's what yeah. I call the Y block. Yep. Yep. And so this here is a uh, little, I believe it's a little Fiat tractor. Um, I haven't really got it going today, but it's got a little electric motor on the front. It's all cut away. So you can see inside the injector pump and they'll turn it over and you can actually watch it all run. Just off the little electric motor, run nice and slowly. In here, you can see the clutch. There's the drive through to the gearbox. You can see the brake bands here and the diffs in there. Right out to the PDO shaft. And up on top here, you can see the two point linkage hydraulics. Very interesting little setup. It's uh, been on loan to the Bore Old Engine Club restoration from the community college of Gippsland so yeah, look at that. we can see right in here in the sump and everything very interesting display fascinating I think so here we have a little Ford 9N I believe it is I had a quick glance at the serial number I believe it's a 42 model uh, which would be the last of the 9Ns so really interesting little tractors obviously heavily influenced by Harry Ferguson but of course Ford made it. This was pre the Grey Fergies or the TE20 series of tractors. But yeah, very interesting little tractors, I think. Little side valve Ford engine. I'm not exactly sure what the engine is. It's probably about half a uh, half a flathead Ford V8, but I don't really know. Little underslung exhaust. Needs a little bit of attention, but it's a really nice little tractor. I wouldn't mind adding this to our collection one day. Here's a beautifully restored FJO. Absolutely spot on. It's been done really nicely. I like the touch of that uh, Pearl steering wheel. Blue everywhere. Really nicely done. I'd say it's an older restoration, but it still presents really nicely. Someone put a lot of time into this, I'd say. Absolutely beautiful. On permanent display here at the uh, Warbor Old Engine Club is this early grader. It's got Champion cast into it in a few places. Really interesting old girl. Obviously, you use the uh, wheels to adjust the height. Turn the blade and whatnot. It would have been a hard day's work on this, but had to be done. I'd say it must have been horse drawn originally, judging by the seat springs and everything there. As I said, it would have been a really hard day's work on this, but very cool old bit of gear. So it's been a great little day here. Really nice little show up of old gear. And sausage chisel for lunch. Can't ask for anything too much better. So I'm going to eat these and then we'll think about maybe heading off. Back in the uh, one tonner, about to head home. We've had a really good day out here at Borbore Old Engine and Auto Club in Darnham in Victoria. Uh, it's been really good. Saw that fantastic uh, Ronaldson Tippett, uh, what was it, a residual oil engine set up here that they've got permanently uh, mounted. Really, really interesting bit of gear and yeah, lots of... Uh, Lots of great little displays. It was a great little day and we had a good barbecue for lunch and time to head home. Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll catch you next time. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.